How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of civil life up in this piece in the form of their Sarah Lou Brew. Um, this is a wheat beer. This is a portion of the proceeds from Sarah Lou Brew will benefit um, Northside Community Housing re Revitalization of the Villa Neighborhood and Preservation of the Historic Sarah Lou Cafe. Um, this is a refreshingly unfiltered German-style ale with subtle notes of clove and banana. Yeah. Love me some civil life. This is from almost exactly two months ago. Comes courtesy of my boy Jason. He sends me a bunch of civil life and he is doing insert your deity of choices here work. Um, because I love civil life and the only way I can get them is apparently from him. So thank you very much, brother, for doing 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 due diligence and getting me getting me mine, because I need mine. I love civil life. Um, yeah, looks like a weep here. Let's get this. Smells like, smells like a cross, honestly, between like a Belgian and a German style wheat beer. There's a banana fog, the vanilla, bubblegum, but it's not as readily apparent as you expect from like a German beer. Uh, but it has a little bit of bubblegummy thing. You typically get more from like a Belgian style. It's not super hyper aggressive. So it's almost a combination of like a German and an American wheat beer. American wheat beers are pretty. So I don't want to kind of put that on it, but it has a soft little banana phenolic. This nice little sweetness. And this little thing of like vibrant pineapple. What did they call it on here? Clove and banana. I don't get clove, but I get this like citrus thing that it reminds me very much, very much of like a citrus kind of lemony kind of thing going on pineapple-y thing. Really, really actually kind of cool. So let's dive in. Cheers. They don't put their ABDs on here. Civil life. I love you guys, man. And gals, and they or them, it doesn't really matter. When I say guys, it's all inclusive. Um, they don't put ABVs on their beer. I mean, all their stuff is pretty much low ABV. So, this, if, if this, let's put it this way. I'm thinking this is close to five, four, eight, five percent. That's my guess on this beer. If this beer was three and a half. I drink this. I put this on my. Uh, faucet as water. It just has this really nice, bright refreshingness to it. You definitely get that soft little banana. There is that little pineapple thing kind of floating around there. That actual a little bit of spiciness in there. A little bit of clove comes through. It's not hyper aggressive, so I dig that. It's just a, honestly a really drinkable, really hyper. I mean, it's a civil life to a tea. Hyper cleanly crispy, well-made, zero-flaw beer. Um, it's fantastic. You know? Is it the best civil life I've ever had in my life? No. Um, but man, you give me liters of this on a hot summer day, this dude's happy. Very, very happy, let's put it that way. Yeah, I dig this. I think it's fun. It's tasty. It's going to a good cause. What more do you want? You know? And our price point. Let's cut to the chase. This is one of the better wheat beers I've had as really Actually, yeah, it's probably Mount Rushmore says so that good. It's it's not electric. Like I said, it's not like rewriting the record books. But it is different. You know, it's not the run of the mill ho hum kind of wheat beer you typically have. That little twist of that pineapple thing. That way the clove comes off a little bit more, but not heavy handed, and how it drinks. It almost has that um, almost like a water nerdy um, uh, IPA level now feel to it. A little softer than that, or a little lighter than that i should say um but it's there um so it, it, it's tweaked in a bunch of different ways that make it unique in a very very good way so that's why it's kind of up there and on the mountain for me um bagged availability i would say i don't know but i do um these beers i don't know if they charge extra for this because it's going to a good cause but from what i'm seeing on their website you're looking basically eight to ten bucks for a six pack regardless of what they make <laughs> all day and leave you with if you like what we like this beer you like beer I give this to a beer connoisseur, you know? They're like, okay, that's very, very drinkable. I like that quite a bit. I give this to my non-beer drinking friends. They go, that's pretty tasty. I will drink that. So, you know, I think anybody would like this beer, to be perfectly honest with you. And I think you can find great things about it. And probably one of the coolest things about it is a very rare trick. And this is probably the best thing I didn't mention until now. I think you could sit here on a camera like this and talk about this beer and make points and have interesting conversation or you can crack 30 of these and not talk about the beer it could live in both of those worlds easily so 
it could be the star of the show, or it could just be an accompaniment to the show. And that's a very cool thing when it comes to beer. More specifically, drinking beer. So, yeah. If you like beer, you'll like this. There you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it, Massive Beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, let me know if you had this, please. Uh, beer Massive, podcasting stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little bit of a civil life right now. Or charity beer. Hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>